damn these pill crates are nothing but a ripoff. The only thing I got which was actually useful were the ibuprofen. Oh well, time to get rid of such uselessness gradually. Useless pill number one, the laxative. I'll just go feed these to the seagulls. What a nice day to be outside. Wow, look at those seagulls above. And oh my god, it's snowing. Oh yeah. This is awesome. Hey, let's catch some snowflakes on our tongues. Good idea. That was the most pointless vacuuming I have ever done. All for one cocoa pop. Typical. Hold on, there's a note on the back of this. Follow the sweet trail that I have just set out. Erm, okay. I best bring a gun just in case this is some form of trap. Callum what is the meaning of this? Wait, how did you even put the note on my vacuum? Oh I simply put it on there and placed down the sweets when you turned round. I'm just seeing whether or not your navigation skills are okay. It comes just in handy with what we're about to do. So you snuck into my house and snuck a note on my hoover and ran all the way here? What are we doing exactly? Why we're looking for a secret chest full of several expensive fireworks. Some time ago in 2013, a competition opened in which whoever found the hidden chest would have a stacked ton of awesome fireworks. And I found out recently that the chest is still yet to be found and that it is located in our area. I don't know about this. Man Monty, do you know what this means? We can hold the biggest bonfire night of all time. There are rumored to be fireworks worth thousands of pounds in there, and we all know that we can't afford such luxuries. Hum, I guess I'll help. But where do we look first? Let me first introduce you to some random weevils I picked up online who want to help us. You can come out now. My name is Sid, and I have always wanted to host a firework display in some way. My name is Ben Brandon, and I once attempted this quest ages ago but quit. Now that you lot are looking for it again, I've decided to look again myself. So, this is our team. Don't worry about any betrayal, because I made them sign a legal contract giving me the right to cut off their hands if they think about having the treasure all to themselves. Is there any form of riddle we can use to guide us to this chest? The only riddle they gave us was a riddle saying that you don't get your blast from the past, but rather that you get your blast from something rhyming with ood. I know, what about food? Let's go. I don't understand. We have checked every restaurant within the radius and not one can of pop actually hinted towards its location. I stuck my head down every toilet in hope of finding the chest but all I got were several bowls of sausage lemonade. I also checked all the food in hope of finding it but there was nothing to be found. Edward Snowden isn't picking up either. I was hoping to call him in hope of getting him to leak the coordinates but it looks like we actually have to find it ourselves. I know. Perhaps food is referring to supermarkets rather than restaurants. Great plan. But what supermarkets are within the area? Well, there was Morrison's but that is still recovering from that fatal protest burn down and if the fireworks were in there, they would surely have went off. I think we ought to try Asta. Okay everyone, we need to keep a low profile. Don't look suspicious. Hey mommy, why are those four weevils just standing there staring into space? What have I told you about looking at perverts? That does it. I'm grounding you for two months for safety. I think we should ask someone in the shop. But who is brave enough to go over to someone and ask? I sure aren't. Neither am I. It seems too big boy to go and do that. I can't either. Me neither. It's so frightening. Which leaves just one thing. Useless pill number two, the birth control pill. Clean up in aisle seven. Great going Monty. But may I ask why you have birth control pills? Oh, I fell victim to the stupid pill creed thing. Oh no. I once had one of those and it was the most wasted money of all time. I should have really told you about it but I thought only myself would be stupid enough to buy such scam. Hello, we are wondering if there is a hidden firework crate nearby? No. I guess it wasn't food after all. What else could it be? I know. Maybe it could be rude. 
Let's go check out every strip club in the area. Ha <laughs> ha nice try but since when was work supposed to ever be a time of entertainment? Plus, this is Britain, there is none nearby. Ooh, maybe it could be altitude? Nice one Brandon. That would so make sense as the area has a high uphill. The chest has said to have had a metal handle on it so I will bring my metal detector whilst you lot can look above the surface. I can just feel the suspense already. Right, useless pill number three, the diet pill. I'm putting you straight into the dog poo bin because that's how crap you are. Well, have you guys found anything of use? I keep finding leaves. How about you? Same here. What about you, Ben Brandon? I've found several twigs in which all look very identical to each other. I think this might be a sign. You clearly just collected fallen twigs from a tree. Wow, you're very skeptical. Well, you know what? I don't care what you think. Everyone, calm over. I think I've got something. So, what is it? It's a marshmallow with a golden nugget stuck to it. What use is that going to bring us? Well, I guess we can go back to the country trail and discuss what to do next and bin Brandon. What the heck are you doing? Making progress, that is what I'm doing. I'll go scrap another pill. Useless pill number four, the steroid. I don't know how I'd need to gain false strength, but oh well, bye bye. Oh God, Monty, what have you done? I don't know. Oh no. That steroid you threw must have landed on the marshmallow I threw. I don't know about you guys but I moved to here. Well, considering we were almost killed and had to run like crazy, we did have the advantage of seeing that the chest was nowhere within the hill as without the quakes from that marshmallow man, the hill wouldn't have been destroyed which means we would not have been able to see everything that was once underground. I'm sorry but I'm starting to feel that this chest does not exist. We're just looking at petty rhymes. What's next? Crude? Hold on Monty, repeat what you just said. What? Crude? That's it. Follow me guys, I know exactly where these fireworks are. The BP headquarters. Why here? Earlier you reminded me about something important. You see, it was actually BP who created this quest in the first place. And what better place would they be than the place it was first spoken of? Who's there? Catherine, what did I tell you about letting the nasty oil mites in? You say a lot being the one who nastily spilled all that oil on purpose. Er, uh, well, actually, no, er. Uh, say, can I offer you guys a drink? Look. We know that the hidden fireworks chest you announced some time ago is here so could we please get our reward? How about no? I only did that to distract people from trying to use renewable sources. Nowadays I don't need to do that so sorry. What a waste of time. Hum. I got it. Useless pill number five. The sleeping pill. Monty, where are you getting it here? Typical CEOs will do anything for a nice sleep but they find it hard sleeping due to the fact they spend all day earning money from exploiting workers and doing nothing. A bit like 55 pixels in a way. Oh my. Impressive. Please, please give me that pill. On one condition. Trade us for the firework chest. Fine. Now, if you don't mind. I'm going to go sleep under the table. Good day to you. We did it. Teamwork sure pays off. Now, to open it. Ooh, here it comes. Oh Callum, tell me, do the fireworks look as pretty as how I imagine them to be? They sure do. This is the best bonfire night I have ever had. Though I am concerned about the pig roast. We have so many fireworks. With all those coupons from the chest, I was able to make three fireworks stores go out of business. Who is up for another round of fireworks? Ooh, me. Watch out. The firework is going the wrong way. Well, it looks like Poundland has ruined the fun once again. 